All right, guys, welcome back. We're still working on Project Nightmare. This is probably part 27. I have no clue. Everything's off to the powder coater. We got the uh, <clears throat> upper and lower rocker box covers, the cam, uh, the beauty cover for the transmission, the primary cover. All that's off the powder coat. There's a, quite a few things that I want to get done while these are off the powder coat. And one of those things is this. This is the s, &S uh, aluminum intake for Harley Davidson. This replaces the plastic Harley Davidson intake. This I did purchase from Fuel Moto. Availability was next to nothing for a long time. Let's get this installed today. To get these out, you're gonna have to be at a severe angle. This is the purpose for that ball head. That one's loose. This one here on the rear cylinder, this is a little bit easier to get to. The angle is about like that to get that bolt out of there. Now these right side ones are loose. All right, so these are quite a bit more accessible, a little bit easier to get to. Right there, and you're removing that bolt. This one, same thing. I'm not gonna make you suffer through these coming out. I'm gonna get these out and then I'll explain to you everything that we have to do to swap over to the aluminum s, &S. Okay, so now we wanna get this out of here. What you'll wanna do is kinda twist this up. Make sure your cable's out of the way. We can pull this one off. Whoa, that fired off. That's how that comes out of there, just like that. I don't know if this is evidence of leaking, but there's some dirt buildup. Like it's like these weren't quite sealing perfectly. All right, so we got this off. Now we're gonna have to pull the map sensor, the fuel injector rail and the injectors. So to get the map sensor off, you're gonna want a T25. To get the fuel injector rail off, you're gonna want a T30. Now this should just Pull up and out. All right. There we go. That's out. This one's all disassembled, so this can get either hung on the wall or chucked in the garbage. These bolts don't have any Loctite on them, so we're not going to put any Loctite on them. All right, so we're gonna twist this in here, just like we pulled it out. And we're gonna make sure that these go on these bolts. Now that is in there, we can get this other bolt started. We're just gonna run in there a little ways same thing over here and now remember they say to just hand, get these hand tight you don't tighten them down until you get the throttle body installed so everything is lined up so we got those front ones just snug now we'll do the same thing with these we'll just get these snugged up a little bit so it can still move but it's not tight i am going to put the fuel rail on Injectors and fuel rail is installed nice and tight. All right, guys, so this is done for now. Okay, we are back at the intake. This is an SNS manifold. Before I tighten this down, it's, it's pretty close to tight right now. I wanna mount the throttle body, and then I wanna mount the air cleaner on here, not permanently, just so this sits where it's supposed to and then i can tighten these up and this will be where it's supposed to be and i'm not trying to fight this up or down when i need to put my air cleaner back on when you go to put this back on remember there are gaskets for the bolts 
these have the gaskets on them but there's gaskets on the back here to stop any oil leakage but meaning that we're just putting these on temporarily then we can adjust this where we need it so you can see when i put this on here this was off just a little bit so if i'd have tightened that up where it was at it would have been in the wrong position so we'll just push that down a little bit and make sure that these can screw in there all right so now that this is where it's gonna live when it's on the bike now we can tighten these manifold bolts up then we can take this all back off reinstall it at a later date because i kind of want this out of the way so i can get these these in here but putting these in here is going to aid in making this more difficult to put to tighten these all right since i'm super unhappy with this lang 5530 because this bit keeps falling out and i can't get i don't know if it's i think it's this intake because it's that much bigger i can't get this in there i made my own intake wrench um, if you're going to do this i recommend that you do it with a cheap one you can get from the store instead of your good set but i just cut about i don't know quarter inch off here maybe a little bit more and then just tapered the end so it was smooth so it's going to be easier to tighten this intake now because if that valve cover's on there i might not be able to get to that next flat and i already ran into the frame here so this is just going to make it so much easier to do it now i don't know what the torque spec is on these i don't even know if you could get a torque wrench in here we're just going to tighten them till i feel that they're tight enough okay those two are tight we're going to move to the back so these back ones are a little bit easier to access with the rocket covers on it's easier just to do this now before we put those on that way it's done we don't have to worry about it all right we're at that point all right so the intake manifold is now tight now we're going to pull that stuff off the front so we can get these rocker covers on finally thanks for watching guys like subscribe and hit that bell thank you